Hey guys, this is Fernando doing another video for More Survivalist and I'd like to talk a little bit about who has it worse when shit hits the fan, when there is disasters uh, of different nature. Right now we're seeing it in North Central US, uh, Canada, in UK, also in South America as well uh, because of different reasons but we are having people that have problems with their uh, power supply in the northern hemisphere it's because of, of uh, ice storms and such uh, in UK it's, it's uh, floodings and, and storms in South America it's more of a, a problem with, with a heat wave it's summer there in the, in the southern hemisphere so there's lots of, of consumption of electricity and it's just not enough the grid is in, in awful shape especially in, in Argentina where uh, most uh, uh, problems are happening but it's interesting interesting to notice who has it worse when these things happen and it's not only about electricity it's about um, everything as well you know whenever a uh, a disaster takes place what is it that's going to be happening in terms of resources who's going to be taken care of first and who's going to be taken care of last there was a, an interesting video about a, gen, a gentleman in northern US uh, he, he was complaining about him being well after the ice storm being without power for several days and he he said he didn't want to say it directly, but he felt that his community was being left behind and that he would drive around other places and see that they would have power, but his community was always last. The official statement, which is correct, and this is, guys, something that you should be interested in, is the, com the, the company was saying that uh, power was being restored first where it was benefiting the most people. It's understandable that if you have a certain amount of, of manpower, if that crew working 6, 12 hours, 24 hours restores electricity for 50,000 people, then that's a better use than putting those same resources in uh, giving back electricity to 5,000 people. If you benefit 50,000 people, 100,000 people, you do that first rather than benefiting a smaller community of 5,000, 2,000 let alone someone that it's, you know, uh, the, the typical uh, super uh, survivalist uh, homestead myth of being one gas tank away or God knows how, how much uh, further away from civilization being the best idea. This is a good example of why that's not a very good idea. It's actually an awful idea. Imagine that in, in, this, uh, in these uh, situations, someone that is miles away and maybe there's a, a power line just providing power to yourself and maybe a couple other neighbors at most that's gonna be going back in, in the line in the queue you're gonna be taken care of last compared to everyone else that is also struggling with this uh, this problem understandably so so it's, it's actually a pretty bad idea again it's not only about power it's about resources for everything every single thing if it's gonna be a, a police manpower for for policing an area um, it's going to be focused any effort in terms of, of, of um, health or medical issues, infrastructure in general, it's going to be focused first where it benefits the most people. You being isolated is yet again a very bad idea. Then uh, this gentleman also implied in some way that the neighborhoods that he saw were being taken care of first, not only maybe were um, larger populations according to what the company was saying but he was saying that these were also higher income uh, areas higher income neighborhoods rather than low income uh, locations uh, such as the one in which he lived himself and that's true also even though it's gonna be an unofficial stance the company is not gonna be saying it uh, outspokenly but and officially speaking, it's also understandable that a company is going to be taking care of first of the higher income sectors because those are in general the ones that will have much more of a voice, much more of a saying in, in the affairs related to those companies. Okay, if, if they have to choose between helping out all things being equal between helping out first the low income sector or the high income sector it is in the best interest of the company to help the the ones that will have more of a voice that will have that will uh, be in many ways capable of of 
negatively impacting that company if they if they don't take care of the problem first in general uh, people of, of higher income uh, sectors uh, are um, influence much more the affairs uh, of, of different public and private companies so that's in general why it happens it's even understandable that many of the executives of, of these companies themselves are going to be living in these places so it's going to be in their best interest to take care of the problem first uh, where they reside themselves uh, so just two things to to keep in mind uh, basically we go back to these uh, this thing of being isolated, being far away from everything is in general and in most cases not a good idea. I will say though that it has uh, certain benefits uh, under a limited amount of, of scenarios, uh, a small number of scenarios, it would have some benefits. In general for most of them, especially the ones that are most likely, it will not. So keep all this in mind guys, fantasy, fiction versus reality. What's happening right now, it's, it's reality and what's happening in, in, in people's minds, in, in their own uh, worlds of fantasy, that's gonna, not going to be helpful for you for realistic preparedness. Guys, I hope you had a, a great Christmas and you're looking forward to a great new year as well. Uh, remember to subscribe and there's more stuff, up, uh, more stuff coming up. Take care. See you in our next video.